Shutter 16 sitting here with <laughs> doing a little doodle for yeah. some of you fans out there. To see this who is a I, I might get in on this uh, this uh, contest to get this doodle because yes. I sort of want it. Everyone else is drawing dicks and boobs. And this guy. What is he drawing? Oh, nice little palm tree, nice little setting. Nice. I'm, I'm unsure as to uh, a tree. Like a tail. But, uh, is it a vision of home? Like what is it? <laughs> is it a vision of home? <laughs> It's, you know, it's, it's where you want to be. Yes, it's where you want to be. I, I, I get uh, real estate by this tree is the thing. Okay, so, so it's warped for and uh, you know, play band, play music, play for fans, we're all cheering, sing along, or they discover you, and I guess it's good. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I know what you're gonna say, but, but we did touch on the concept of Fourth of July while you're like in the middle of touring. So like, it seems pretty pretty Chill. downplayed compared to like, oh, I I live a normal life and I'm not a musician that goes everywhere and meets awesome people and signs boobs. And <laughs> <laughs> and so, what what is Fourth of July like while you're on tour? It's pretty chill. Like, yeah, because it's a day off, so everybody's just like, it's still gets a day off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> still get some drinks going on, but we end up just chilling in a hotel, doing laundry, and just another friend's bed, and just kind of have a little cookout, you know, just chilling. I think everyone did laundry work. and work yesterday. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to work. I just didn't feel like getting shitty on a day off. Just right. I don't know, I tend to get drunk on the barbecues and stuff. Right. Yeah, I, I, I even think yeah. Diana had a couple drinks at I did, and I don't drink. She, <laughs> so she, yes. she was partying it up. I think I'm the hungover one today, and everyone yeah, else is there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wanted to ask about. Well, okay. I saw that you guys are involved, uh, or have your music up on Pledge Music. What is Pledge Music? I haven't heard of it. Pledge Music is uh, it's kind of like a Kickstarter, but it's all music centric. Mm -hmm. So it's all about bands that like kind of using uh, crowdsourcing to fund their albums and stuff. Right. And it's the same idea you give. Um, uh, incentives, rewards, whatever it's called, kind of pledge, different tiers, you know. And uh, we ended up doing that for this new record we're working on right now. And um, it's very successful. Um, we're, we'll, we'll have all that soon. We don't have all the information. But, okay. but um, yeah, so we just put out a new single called Girls from that yeah. album. Um, and uh, people are digging it. And, um, are you playing it live right now at work? Yeah, there you go. Live, and, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's like, Good, good stuff. So we were stuck that we could get the you know, fans involved in you know, mm -hmm. music, the record things. So you've been on tour with Less Than Jake, Real Big Fish, etc. What are some uh, nightmare stories from that tour or any of those tours? And they have Come to on, give me a juicy story. Stories. It's got to have yeah, something. That good. is awesome. You can't say that they were all great and they're all good people. <laughs> she just answered for you again. <laughs> what are you doing? That's what I would say. No, they, they, I don't know. They are great and they're good people. <laughs> We heard it here, folks. <laughs> no, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun that, you know, because I grew up listening to those bands and then we play with them and did these long tours and it's just it's great. You get to play with their crowds and uh, just see how cool they are and, and chill and not like rock star or anything like that. You know, right. So, mm -hmm. It's awesome. We're nice. stoked uh, to do it. Awesome. So after Warped, you have an album coming out soon. You're in the process of doing that. Yeah. Anything else? Is there any type of tour coming up or yeah, anything that we should fall do? tour with a guy named Zach Deputy. Goes down up and down the East Coast in September, mm -hmm. and then we got some dates uh, out west uh, coming together in October, and uh, we'll have all the information soon as well. <laughs> so get it all at ballyhooRocks.com. Yeah, all right, Ballyhoo Rocks. Ballyhoo. Go to Ballyhoo Rocks. All right, <laughs> and lastly, I don't even know if I want to ask it. Anyway, <laughs> what, what's wrong? Uh, what's what wrong? Ask? I don't know what I'm gonna ask. Scary. I'm scared too. Nah. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like actually. Up. You can ask something. I don't know. <laughs> you don't even have a mic drop. I don't drop. even have a mic drop. I don't have anything else to ask. Is there anything like if, if somebody hasn't heard Ballyhoo, um, <laughs> why, why, so why, 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 why should somebody give a shit enough to like check you guys out? Because uh, it's fun and it's fresh and it's uh, I don't know, good time, good, good time, fucking music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was it. <laughs> Beautiful. That was beautiful. Yeah. Done. That's I didn't awesome. want to. Like I totally froze. I didn't want to keep you longer. I know you have to go. I was like, oh, all right. That's what's up. I'll steal these. And I totally said that live. <laughs>